Hi, Jen and Casey here, and we're here with Fusion Online Videos, and today we're looking at release work again, and we're going to look at some neck points. Mm -hmm. Now, in previous podcasts, um, especially if you're part of the Apprentice Program, we showed you some neck release on the overball, and with a little nod of the head or a little rotation, sometimes adding the opposition of the eyes in. And this is really, really nice to start to open up um, that C1, C2 area. Mm -hmm. And then to continue with that, then uh, you can get your little tiny mm -hmm. tennis ball here and start to really wake up and release and find some trigger points in this C1, C2 area around the occiput. So we have our yoga block, and we're going to put the tennis ball on it, and Casey's going to go on to her back. I'm going to help her to put that little tiny tennis ball. <laughs> yeah, right away. Right away you'll start to find it. Mm -hmm. And the best thing with this on the yoga block is to do very, very tiny rotations or nods to really kind of move the tissue because this area um, at the, the occiput can get really tight and rigid. The tissue can get very, very stiff. So this is like a little mini stretch for that occiput area, top of the neck, to start to wake it up, to start to have the connective tissue sliding and um, to cr create a little bit of suppleness in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can, you can definitely feel the referral points in mm -hmm. the face and down the neck when you find one of those really kind of the epicenter right. of tension. Right. So after that little mini roll, you'll find a spot that really talks to you, right? Like just as we've done with the rest of the body. So you'll find a little trigger point and you could hold it there for maybe four or five breath cycles, not too long. Right? And then during those breath cycles, right, you'll feel it soften and release. You might even feel some referral points, as Casey was talking about, up into the head, the face, maybe the upper back. Good. And then from there, it's not too hard to find another <laughs> little tight point, right? So you can rotate it or you can go ahead and move the ball to a different area on the occiput or at the top of the neck mm -hmm. to find your next release point. And again, only holding it for four, five, six breath cycles, not too long. Good. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice once you're through, once you've done a few points, to have them take the ball out and just feel the difference. Really feel the sensation. So this is all part of um, the main component of Pilates is paying attention. So what's the difference? How do you feel now? What's happening in the body? Very, very interesting. Mm -hmm, All right. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye.